So I'm going for my one of my daily walks now that I do. Now that I'm living in red car, fills the time in. So today is a sunny day, which is nice. So I'm going to have a walk down red car, and I'm going to discuss a few things on my way down to red car. Now it's a cold day outside here. Blue skies, which is lovely. But just a cold day. I don't mind blue skies, even if it's cold, because the fact that it's blue skies makes, you, makes everybody feel better. Um, but it's cold. And it's about a two mile walk, maybe three mile walk down into Red Car Centre. So I'm going to pass a few places and do a couple of chats about various places. And the topic of today really is about <coughs> how cheap it is to live here. Now, I've moved to Thailand a number of years ago, and this is where I used to live, Red Car. So I know basically everywhere that there is. And uh, I'm going to try a few, a few menus out today. But um, I'm just going to walk, walk down into Red Car. See where we go from there. And I'll do some various prices. Because it's been about three and a half years since I was here the last time. And I've got to say it's two weeks a day since I've been here. And in my opinion the prices have, have gone up really a lot of money. For various things in comparison to where I live now. But hey ho, away we go. Oh, still got me cough. So onwards down into Redcar. This is just a little walk around a beautiful little park in Redcar called Lock Park. I used to bring my kids around here and uh, oh, many many years ago now and it was a fun place to be and it's still a beautiful little park and uh, <coughs> so I'm going to talk about red car versus thailand and because i've lived in thailand for so long now i sort of take it for granted and here i am in red car in november time and it is freezing cold and the sun's out today which is beautiful and blue skies which is beautiful but it's freezing cold and it's sort of like this now for six months of the year living in the northeast of England so I take it for granted I can walk around in shorts and flip-flops and t-shirts every day in Thailand and it's only when you come to back to England for a little while you realize how lucky you are to live in a, in a nicer country it's it's nice if I say nicer country um, England is a nice country when all said and done but there are better lifestyles out there if only you uh, look outside of the box now on my various videos I'm doing prices of food and accommodation and heating and things like that which is a big part of actually living in Thailand compared to living in England now I'm out today for a few coffees and a, and a, and a meal, lunchtime meal and uh, Oh, just a squirrel. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Nice little squirrel. <laughs> nice squirrel in Lock Park. Beautiful. So, yeah, I'm going to do a few comparisons for meals and coffees and things. <coughs> but I know before I even start, it's going to be much cheaper in in Thailand than it is here in Red Car. But this is where I'm here for. Sadly I came because my stepdad died. So I came all the way over here for the funeral. And it's two weeks a day since I've arrived here. And uh, I don't think I've ever been warm yet. Again I've got a fleece, a shirt and a jacket on. But it's still cold. 
but at, need, at least it's blue skies which is lovely this is the Borton Lake at the Lock Park very very nice I remember bringing the kids here on the boat it's good as I said just walking around this park brings back a few memories which is good pleasant to to have but life moves on everybody moves on and all I hear on the news on the TV whilst I've been here is the credit crunch the heating and eating it's all sort of doom and gloom with regard to the cost of living here and I feel sorry for the people who can't escape that but for those people who can escape it I can't see the reasons why they don't or at least live six months in the year somewhere else I remember years and years and years ago there used to be lots of programs about six weeks in Cyprus or six weeks in Spain to get away from the winter months some geese lovely so people can do it people can escape this uh, this lifestyle over here freezing cold there's no need to, to put up with it but in Europe they're having their credit crunch as well apparently and inflation is high there So watch some of my videos on how you can live on £800 a month in Thailand and that's sort of the, the state pension here and even if you look at the, the council tax what you'd have to pay to live over here and the water rates now that could get your accommodation wherever you want <coughs> it's just a case of looking around and trying to find such places now I'm lucky I discovered this 10 years ago 12 years ago as it is now I should say and I was happy with the move and I come back to England and sadly I see the decline of everywhere the shopping centres you know the, the crime has gone up it's not the England I grew up in now I grew up in South Bank which is a poor area of, of the northeast of England my mum and dad both worked worked hard in, in the steelworks and my mum worked in the bread factory so my family's always been hard workers and uh, I think that shows because that's given my good moral scruples and principles and that's why I live on moral scruples and principles but sadly there's many people who don't live on them so there's still more nice people in the world than bad but stay away from the bad ones and keep in with the good ones wow lots of squirrels around here today so that was my little chat about thinking outside of the box just have a look there's many more options when you're retired to go and do whatever you want to go and do you know there's more to life than getting up every day and putting your coat on <coughs> so I'll put my email on the bottom of here so if anybody's got any questions then uh, feel free to ask I don't mind answering any questions That'd be good. Well, uh... After you. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few lunches there, I think. <laughs> okay. There's some guys just been feeding all the pigeons, and these are the ducks. Yeah. 
So there's some lovely parts to Red Car. Block Park, beautiful. Little sunny, cold morning walk around Block Park. <coughs> Brings back some memories. I'm here for about another four or five weeks and then back to Thailand. And I've got to say, I don't miss, I won't miss, should say, the cold weather. Oh, as I said, I, I've been here two weeks. I don't think I've been warm for two weeks. Nice breakfast in Weathers for £4.60, £1.35 for a cup of coffee.